There is a new conservative candidate hopeful aiming to win over the support of social conservatives. His name is uh, Richard Decaré. Richard Decaré is a former political staffer. He now says he's collecting signatures and it, quote, won't be long before he officially registers to become a candidate. So how does he plan to win on issues like abortion, same-sex marriage, medical aid and dying? Let's find out. Richard Decaré joins us now from uh, Montreal. Uh, thanks for joining us. You're... you're you say you're going to rally social conservatives because there's no one else to do it. What do you mean by that? Uh, in fact, uh, for the past weeks, there were there was none. So the more uh, their candidates, uh, the better it is. Uh, the better we can express uh, our uh, point of view. So I, I represent the uh, full spectrum of conservative, including uh, social conservative, and I'm glad if others are joining the race. What do you say to people who say that Andrew Scheer's views on abortion and same-sex marriage cratered his support in Quebec and Ontario and cost him the election? I think his, his uh, position on, the, on all those values were pretty clear all his career, but he didn't defend them during the electoral campaign. So I think that's where the problem started. Uh, two weeks before the election, he was running, he was winning, and... Uh, he, he didn't answer well, especially in French, and then we saw the uh, the poll dropping after that. So I think if you are a social conservative and it's part of the conservative uh, spectrum, you need to address that very uh, clearly. People are looking for authentic uh, candidates, and uh, I'm one of those. So, okay, so let's go rapid fire. Where do you stand on abortion? Would you roll back the clock on, on uh, choice legislation? In fact, uh, I uh, already said that I would defund uh, abortion since it's not a health care and the health care act is supposed to be uh, financing exclusively uh, health care. So I think it was passed through in the past years and I would uh, rectify that. You would defund it. You might run into a court challenge yes. on that. What about same sex marriage? I was uh, with Mr. Harper in 2004 when uh, we fought uh, the bill for same-sex marriage. So uh, I'm, my point of view is that uh, marriage is exclusive to a man and a woman. And traditionally, it used to be uh, for religion, from a religion point of view. And people are mixed up. When we talk to p real people on the street, uh, when we uh, go across the country, we are hearing the same things. We are all mixed up. Our kids are mixed up. So I think it's uh, what it's does mixed a good up mean? So, so, so what do you mean mixed up? That. Sorry, what, mixed what, up in when the you sense say that people it, are mixed up. Yes, they, that's what they told us. That they they said that uh, usually uh, family tradition, family traditional family was a man and a woman and children, and now it's everything that the liberals brought. And because of that, I think uh, we we need to uh, make sure that the the term marriage is used for a man and woman. Yeah, but sir, sir, with all, I don't know what you mean by mixed up. You also said normal people. Are you saying people in same-sex couples are not normal? No, I'm saying that the people that we meet in, uh, in the street, when we go from door to door, when we are in politics, involved in politics, we pe speak to real people in the sense that they, they are telling us their real story. Uh, we're not get, getting the information yeah, but through sir, sir, the with media. With all due respect, are, LG, LGBTQ people are real people too. I, I'm just trying to figure out your terms. Are they not real people? Uh, I think LGBTQ is a liberal term. I don't, uh, I don't talk about people th that way. I, I talk about uh, persons, and I think uh, we all need the full respects uh, for being a human being. Simply. Oh, so okay. So you you don't you don't think that being uh, gay, you don't think, what, do you think that's a choice or do you think it's biological? I think it's a choice and it, it's, uh, how people are behaving, it's one thing. I think government has responsibility to encourage uh, the, uh, the traditional uh, value that we have uh, had for the past years. So that's the kind of SOCOM issues that I would bring uh, right. as a leader. Okay. Okay, so you think uh, being gay is a choice. You know you're offside with your own party there, that conservatives don't, in your own conservative constitution, they support same-sex marriage. So you're running, you're not an MP, you're running to be the leader of a party, you're running against your own party, and you've got views that most polling shows you're not only offside with most Canadians on these views, you're offside in almost any poll with conservatives. What do you say to them? 
Uh, I think the conservative brand has been uh, getting closer and closer to the liberal brand. I think if people are liberals, they should go join the liberal party. And I think it's time for that the conservative party be recognizing the conservative values, including SOCON values, because I think it's part of it. And when you are uh, talking to members uh, in the West, and also uh, a lot of people in Quebec, even though you don't hear from them, they have strong SOCON values, and that's those people that I want to represent. Right. I'm going to ask you one last question. You know, when you come on national television and you say being gay is a choice, and you say when you talk to normal people, people are going to accuse you of being uh, divisive and a bigot on this stuff and intolerant. What will you say to that? Uh, when I say normal people, I'm saying that we meet people in their own lives and when we discuss one-on-one, -on -one, that they tell you the reality of their lives. Uh, I've encountered a lot of uh, discussion where uh, people were saying one thing uh, publicly and another thing uh, privately. So I think it's very important that we get uh, a voice in that party for those people who are, who are who from that we are not uh, hearing from, uh, unfortunately. All right. Uh, we'll find out if you raise the money and get the signatures and uh, carry sure. that banner in that race. I appreciate you joining us. Thank you so much. Thank you.